Hello everyone, I am Dr. Smanti, consultant at Dr. Arvind's IBM Center, Connecticut. Today we have come up with a small topic about AMH. We have a lot of patients asking about AMH. What is it? How is it done? What is its normal value? Is low AMH going to affect their fertility or not? Is there any modality to increase their AMH? I'll be answering all these questions shortly. So what is AMH? AMH stands for anti mullerian hormone or mullerian inhibiting substance. It is produced by follicles in the ovary. A woman will have two ovaries. Each ovary has got a bunch of follicles whose number is genetically predetermined. At birth, a girl child will have approximately 1 million of follicles. These follicles will be used up from the onset of menses till the cessation of menses, that is from menarche to menopause. In each menstrual cycle, a bunch of follicles will be recruited in a competition. Out of those bunch of follicles, one follicle will be the dominant follicle and gets ovulated eventually. In this way, the entire ovarian reserve will be used up. So, what is AMH? It is a test, which is a quantitative test, which gives an idea about the number of follicles our ovary con is containing at that point of time. It never speaks about the quality of eggs that a woman is having at that point of time. So how is it done? It is a simple blood test. It can be done on any day of menstrual cycle. There is no particular timing or a day of menstruation. The normal value of AMH is in between 1.5 to 4 nanograms per ml. So many people, often they just ask if they are having low AMH is going to affect their fertility or not. Low AMH doesn't mean that the female is infertile. It's just a warning sign that they need to hurry up in planning pregnancy. So whenever a female plans pregnancy, it is better to get their AMH levels checked. If they have seen low AMH levels in their blood sample, that means they have to plan their pregnancy as soon as possible. So why uh, it, it doesn't mean that AMH is low only in old ladies like perimenopausal or postmenopausal. Even a woman in her early 30s or early 40s can have low AMH. It is possible because one's follicle count depends upon their genetic or iatrogenic or n number of causes, especially lifestyle modifications. So it's not that only old ladies will have low AMH. Any woman in the early 30s or early 40s can have low AMH levels. If they are having low AMH levels, they need to consult an infertility specialist and plan on their pregnancy according to the options available. The last question is, is there any modality to increase their AMH level? So far, there is no modality scientifically proven to increase AMH levels because the number of follicles are genetically predetermined. We cannot increase the number of follicles, but what we can do is, we can decrease the rate of burnout of ovarian reserve. The ways that which will help us to decrease the rate of burnout of ovarian reserve are to change our lifestyle, that is to have less stressful activities, less stressful job, adequate sleep, good diet and healthy lifestyle. I hope this video is helpful to everyone watching out there.